Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we write a program to check whether the given string is a pangram or not. So first of all, we'll understand what is a pangram string. So a, a string is called as pangram if if it contains all the alphabet alphabets that is a to z, uh, ignoring the case sensitivity. So let us see the example for this. So you can see that this is a string s and it is containing all the alphabets from a to z so if you see in this we have all the alphabets from a to z so let us see how can we write a program for this so first of all what i will do i will convert this string into lowercase we'll convert this then we'll use here a hash set hash set of character hs equals to new hash set and yes control shift over importing this now we'll write here for loop for int i equal to 0 to i is less than s dot length then i plus plus now here we'll write a logic so char ch equals to s dot to uh, s s dot char at character at position i then next thing what we'll do is if ch is uh, greater than equals to 97 and ch is smaller than equals to 122 in that case we'll add into hash set hs dot add character ch right then after adding we will see if hs dot size is equals to equal to 26 then sys out control space enter pan grams else it is not a pan gram sys out sys out control space enter not pan gram not so what we are doing here is this is a string and we have to check whether the given string is pan gram or not what is the condition of pan gram it should contain all the alphabets ignoring the case that is lower case or upper case so for ignorance what we are doing we will convert this string into uh, to lower case that means whatever the upper case are there that will be converted to lower case <coughs> then we are using here a hash set then we are iterating one by one character then ss dot this will give the character then we will check if the character is between 97 to 120 that is between the small a to z in that case we will add that character into the hash set and as we all know hash set will not store the duplicate right so that's why we are using hash set that means if uh, repetition is done then it will not store that then at the end we'll see the hash set size if it is equal to 26 that means all the character that is alphabets are present in the given string in that case we can see that it is a pan graph otherwise we can say that it is not a pan graph so this is a way we can check or we can write a program to check whether the given string is a pangram or not. So if you like this video, you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel.